Let's talk about the perimeter of a rectangle. That's something you've already done before, but this time we're going to talk about it in variables. So can you write the perimeter of a rectangle in variables? Now what does it mean to write something in variables? If you write it for only one rectangle, so that it works for this number and this number. So if you want only it to work only for one number, then you write it in numbers. But if you want it to work for any number, any length and breadth of a rectangle, whatever rectangle you give me, this will be the perimeter. If you want to write it that way, then you use what's called variables. Or which is just variables are just another way to write for any number. So you know enough now to try this on your own. So take a shot at it and then let's see if both of us did it the same way. The way I would do it is look at this and go, okay, that's 4 here, that's the length, so it must be 4 over here. 3 over here, so the breadth will be 3 over here. Now I'm going, okay, I just have to find the perimeter, which is the sum of all the lengths. Let me add the 4s first. So I have 4 plus 4, the two lengths, and then I have the two breadths, plus 3 plus 3, plus 3 plus 3. Now I can see that I have 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3. 2 times my length, 4, plus 2 times my breadth, 3, plus 2 times my breadth, 3. Now I look at this and I can calculate the answer to this. This will be 2 into 4 which is 8 plus 2 into 3 which is 6. The total equals 14. So 14 is the perimeter of this rectangle. I'll maybe look at one more example to see what I'm doing here because when I see this I can see that I'm adding 2 times the length plus 2 times the breadth. So let me take one more triangle one more rectangle, I'm sorry, and uh, now do it for this. So what I'll do here, I'm noticing I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to take 7 plus 7 this time because it's 7 over here. And 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So 2 times the length plus 2 times the breadth. That's what I'm doing in all these cases. So over here, this will be 2 times 7 plus 2 times 5. 2 times 7 plus 2 times 5. Now you can find the answer to this one as well. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 2 times 5 is 10, and this is 24. So that's the perimeter of this rectangle. Now what I notice when I do this is that my brain is shouting, hey, you know what? You don't have to tell me what this length is. Whatever length you give me, so any length you give me, if I take another rectangle here, any length you give me, any length, it doesn't matter. I just have to add this length twice because this length is there and this length is there. And then I have to add the breadth twice. So it can be any breadth over here. Any breadth over here. And I just have to add that also twice. 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. So I'm just going to write that over here. So I know that my perimeter is going to be equal to 2 times the length. Whatever length this is plus 2 times the breadth, plus 2 times the breadth. Now I look at this, what is this equal to? This is equal to my perimeter. So I'm going to write perimeter as perimeter, P-E-R-I-M-E-T-E-R. -E -E now what I've done here is enough for this question. I have written perimeter as Something in variables. Length is a variable. Breadth is a variable. But they're just long variables. So what does this length stand for? Any length. Somebody tells you my rectangle has some length and some breadth. You'll just put the length here and breadth here. And you'll get the answer to the perimeter. But because these are long. And we like to write things short. So I can write P for perimeter. Equals 2 times length. So 2 into length. And I can just write L for length because it's much smaller than writing the entire thing. Plus 2 times B. Plus 2 times B for breadth. Now notice that I can leave it right here if I want to. Length is also a variable. You can use a big word also as a variable. A variable doesn't have to be just an alphabet. It can be anything as long as you know what you're writing. So I look at this and I do one last step. See in math we want to make it as small as we can. So what's one thing that's that I'm, that's staring at me? This 2 is telling, you know what? I'm here and I'm here. Take me out. Take me out. So I say, okay, I'll do that. So I write P over here. P equals 2 times 
Lent plus bread, with in brackets. Lent plus bread. Lent plus bread over here. So there you have it. This is the shortest way in which you can write the perimeter of a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a box around this. So if you are asked to write the perimeter of a rectangle in variables, this is what we write. It's two times the sum of the length and breadth. So add the length and breadth and multiply it by 